Good afternoon, Durham. I'm Rod Jenkins, Director of the Durham County Department of Public Health. This week, difficult conversations have occurred about school reopening and the governor's extending phase two of the statewide stay-at-home order. I want to briefly address what this means for you in Durham. The governor recommended a school reopening plan for moderate social distancing. School districts also have the option to do full virtual instruction with no in-person instruction. As of last night, Durham Public Schools has decided to do fully online instructions for the first nine weeks of the semester. Be sure to stay tuned to Durham Public Schools website, dpsnc.net, for more information as our local education officials make announcements for you and your children. The governor has also extended phase two of the statewide safer at home order for three more weeks. Remember, Durham is still under a local safer at home order until further notice. When there are differences between the state and local order, the stricter of the two always applies to you. Durham, we are all experiencing COVID fatigue. We all want things to get back to normal but our actions as a community can always play a significant role in ending this pandemic. We must stay the course and exhibit the right behaviors now in order to enjoy a COVID free future. This week, you may have seen a graphic on social media that highlighted the significant consequences of attending one mass gathering. At this event, a family gathering, no one wore face coverings or practiced social distancing. As a result of this one event, 14 family members contracted COVID-19, but because they did not immediately feel symptoms after the event, they went on about their daily lives at work and at the beach with other family members. They went on to spread the virus during this time without realizing it at first. As a direct result of these actions, 41 individuals and nine families and eight workplaces have been diagnosed with COVID-19 to date. Because of one family's decision to host a large gathering, more than 40 individuals became COVID-19 cases, including children as young as nine and high-risk seniors as old as 85. Every day here at the health department, we see cases like these in Durham, in which friends, family members, and neighbors are diagnosed with COVID not only because of their own actions, but because of the actions of others. It's simple, Durham. Your behaviors and actions can create positive change or they can create serious consequences. The choices you make now will affect the safety of our schools, the health of our essential employees, and the amount of time we must continue to stay away from our friends and loved ones. When you are asked to wear a face covering, to stay at least six feet from others, and to avoid hosting or attending large gatherings. It is because we know from evidence and from the cases we see every day that these things can save lives. So continue to stay home as much as possible. And if you have to go out, stay six feet away from others and wear a cloth face cover. I know we're tired of it, but we can only end this epidemic by taking actions in our own lives to protect ourselves and others. We can do this, Durham.